Brothers and sisters, in the last 24 hours, we've seen the latest disgusting insult against the Messenger of Allah والسلام, in the form of videos uploaded onto the web. I've been listening all day to commentary about this. Some people condemn the protesters for going too far. They condemn the flag burning. They condemn the killing of diplomats in the US Embassy in Libya. I have no problem if people don't like flag burning. I have no problem if people condemn the killing of diplomats, which the Sharia prohibits anyway. What I have a problem with is the fact that so many people, so many Muslim brothers and sisters, have prioritized their commentary on those issues rather than the fundamental issue which started all of this, which was somebody insulting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's messenger, Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet والسلام, he told us, لا يؤمن أحدكم حتى أكون أحب إليه من والده وولده والناس يجمعين. That none of us believes unless we love him عليه السلام, more than we love our parents and our children and the whole of mankind. So I ask myself, have we Muslims in Britain become like those people in Britain and America? that are willing to tolerate the insult to Allah and His messengers and see it as free expression, as comedy, as drama, as entertainment. In this society, in the West, they lost their respect for Allah and His messenger. And then they complain that they have a broken society. Then they complain that parent does not re is not respected by his child, that teacher is not respected by the pupil, that no one respects the law. And they don't see the link between that and the disrespect to Allah and His Messengers. Brothers and sisters, in the Muslim world, not one Muslim ruler, not Mursi in Egypt, not the government in Libya or Tunisia or Saudi Arabia or Pakistan has said what needs to be said on this issue. Not one of them has cut diplomatic relations with any state that endorses or permits these kind of insults. Not one of them has threatened to stop selling oil or gas to these countries. Not one of them has called for the removal of the troops on the basis of this. This deen of Islam, which demands the protection of the honor of the Prophet والسلام, was not left to the duty of a few thousand individual Muslim demonstrators. It was the duty of a Muslim government of an Islamic government. And when there's no Islamic government, it is no surprise that demonstrators, sincere and with hearts full of love for Allah and His Messenger, go out there and do what they do. The last time there was a government on this earth that took that duty seriously was the government of the Uthmani Khilafah more than 80 years ago. I want every single Muslim, inshallah, to condemn insults against the Prophet والسلام, unreservedly as a red line, unacceptable issue for us. I want every single Muslim in the West, inshallah, to carry this message of Islam and to tell people here what great man this man was and to counter the propaganda that we hear. And I want every single Muslim, inshallah, to work hard and call hard for an Islamic state, a Khilafah state, where the Khalifa of the Muslims would be the shield, would be the one who upholds these values on the international stage. Because unless we have that, we are going to see insult after insult after insult again. And that is unacceptable.